Catalian, Tardes are the Hoye was on a Jerna Gia, Carhog, and Chedaweta. On a Jerna Gia, they a tear jot Tarda near the Ne Oya Ganyoke Hog at the water deal. Umma was soon dade, Donza Deli Huat Seraqua, sir. You hunt a no runge, you got the Nadaya, Danune, um, ha, I drink what Deli Wayoni, ne. I eat Onu jere di Tony ori Hawana ne ai do wada den hodu. Ona hoda tiga. Greetings, Guardian. Are you a spirit? You may think of me as such. Where am I? You are where you were before. If you mean to ask what it is you now see, it is known as the Nexus. From here, Probabilities are calculated so that the proper path may be chosen. What path? Yours. Follow me. What have you done to me? Selected a form familiar to your culture. It is designed to ease navigation. We have waited millennia for your arrival. You, who will bring to him the last piece, that he may open the door. I do not understand. Nor need you. I sense my words cause pain, but such was not my intention. You are important, child, in more ways than you will ever know. As we speak, forces gather in secret, preparing to seize control of the land. If they succeed, the sanctuary will be breached. Yours is a special lineage. Past, present, future. Many are connected to you. Many who have changed the world, who will change the world. So too shall you. I have called you here that you might know your duty. You must protect sanctuary from those who would undo our work. What sanctuary? What work? Maintaining your current course will result in a negative outcome. Premature access will destabilize the region. 
Your village and its people will be destroyed. What am I to do? You will learn of a man who will provide additional training. Seek this symbol. No doubt you have many questions. Time will see them answered. For now, you must follow. Leading for later. Radun hage dun ka nuwe ka nuwe ni satka to tiga gari wayerunits to adun hets wagena duni wa garo di rungwe daya jadatka agena dun hase onio ji akande hmm da tune tiga ronungwe izi na gahande di tunas gari we sibagaderi andare tanu ize gi oni ara haje di zadeni go rizu ne dosa seri wayena yun go ar harats to ne aye de wa dun hunjanuna Next year, the sherry de neat knees. They ought to tell you how to do it. They know ya, town do a young god that say to hug it. Yaka attack its god again, they know a god there harder than I the what want that ne. What go ya to darty, siggy, or what do air the offset? Oh, no, Jared, the Zadari Wadeniani. I say go ya talk, Gwenny, the Gordy Wadeni. Yaha, Sagiga. I said, Tardy, did not hold as a sucks eat garda quinegos. Tonu, I got got on a gari wired on its stone. Ne egi garun, where a hawi, oh yashniena, zinio, zizatni staha was a gosniena. Yama. Seri asadoga, nekzi gets hani so zi ezos are harde. Was says akane gari huayro nitsu, satahatsori. Leaving home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions, and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No. It was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who?
Get out of the way! After him! Hello. Hello. You must be one of them native fellas, say, eh, from the, eh, uh, what's it called? Iroquois tribe. Aye. You from that? Course not, Terry. Iroquois ain't a tribe. Is so. Is not. The Iroquois is a confederation. Confeder what now? Confederation, ya Tony. It's a group, an alliance. Lots of different kinds of people all united. Just give it a few days. Private matters being discussed here. Best you move along. What? Um... I... I was told you could train me. No. Go away! I'm not leaving! I need a place to camp. There must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead. So let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! Coming up!
Just hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. <clears throat> oh, you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn ya. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss man. You working for the old man, then? That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Thank you. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. 
ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, that's settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on, I have something to show you. It uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. You can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they backed the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. So I trained, in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling, and for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. 
I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. <laughs>